Lee, who was seeded eight here. We have had superb crowds all week, actually, but particularly yesterday and today, which is a few of them out there, seats having a break after that long men's match. But every seat will be full when uh, we restart again shortly. Been playing this tournament since 1955. German Babington Association do a grand job with it. There's the women's doubles draw. You'd have seen Matsuyama and Shidi yesterday. Um, it looks relatively straightforward, doesn't it, against uh, Tina Muralitha and, and Pearly Tan. It, they lost the plot at one point in that first game. They were 18-10 up and only won it 24-22. Not convincing at all, the two Japanese. Better in the second game, but Beck and Lee certainly would have been heartened by what they saw yesterday. I think they reckon they'll have a decent puncher's chance, even though they're seeded eight. Second ranked pair in the world. So tough ask for these two Koreans. Have to fight their way through the chairs. That's part of the challenge. Well, let's give you some details then about this quartet about to fight it out for the women's doubles titles here in Mulheim, starting with uh, the Japanese pair, Nami Matsuyama, 24 years of age. I mentioned that they are two in the world. That is their best. Got to go all the way back to 2017, find their first title together. That was the, uh, the old Smiling Fish International in Thailand. And nine much bigger trophies have arrived for Matsuyama and Shida since then. There is uh, Chihari Shida. Great year last year, three titles, including the Indonesian Open and the All England, which they're going to defend next week in Birmingham. And they've already had their hands on silverware this year with the uh, India Open in January, where they beat Chen and Jia in the final. There's their path to this final. Haven't dropped a game, but as I mentioned, that semi-final and the quarter-final actually was uh, a bit of a struggle. 27-25 against Fukushima and Hirota. So I think uh, Beck and Lee will reckon they have a definite chance because the Japanese weren't at their best yesterday at all. Uh, Beck uh, Hana, who's 22, has been racked higher with other partners, but they are 32 at the moment. 
won a World Junior Championship gold with uh, Lee Yu Rim way back when, and four major titles with uh, Jun Kyung Yun. And her partner, Lisa He, six years older, got to the Thai Masters final in January, also the uh, Indonesian Open final this year. Never won a title together. Ready to play? Pushed to three games by Jiang and Kim in the quarter final. Korean opponents for the last three matches. Good win yesterday against the number four seeds. Vinay Datan is the umpire from India. And there is Abatef Galusi of Tunisia, who's the service judge. Stand by then for the uh, umpire introductions ahead of this women's doubles final in Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Beg Hanna and Lee So Hee, Korea. And on my left, Nami Matsuyama and Chiharu Shida, Japan. Big Hana to serve to Chiharu Shida. Love all, play. So where we go in this uh, women's doubles final? I think this could be One very close, love. this final. Certainly, if Matsuyama and Shida lose their concentration, as they did yesterday for quite a long period of that opening game against Tanamu Lithran, going to be in trouble against Beck and Lee. Because they're very consistent, and they don't make too many mistakes. Not on forced mistakes, anyway. So we Straight forward one put away one for Matsuyama. Oh. Deception. Two, one. Silky touch that from Sheeta. One. Hit it so hard. Kind of force of gravity took it over off the net cord. So it's over. Two, three.
so often we see Three, that, don't four. we? Straight down the middle, so effective, so frequently. So it's over, four, three. Saw so quite a lot of long rallies in that match that Matsuyama and Shida played against Tanamu Lithuan yesterday. Not sure it's going to be quite the same today because back in Lee, I think we'll be a little more proactive um, than the Malaysians. Well, Beck so uh, timed that Four really sweetly. Off. Five, four. How did that stay alive? Six, four. Miracle save in the middle of a rally from Shida off the net cord, but didn't do them any good ultimately. Again, Please. as she did yesterday, Shida's trying to slow it down, and the umpire needs to just uh, make sure she's not allowed to do that. Maybe just try to hit that so fraction over. too hard. Five, really so six. Heat.
great angle. Good retrieving as well from Lee. Eight, six. Didn't miss by much, but miss it did. And in a match that might be decided by the odd point here and there. Every error kind of magnified a little bit, even in the early stages of this match. Lovely play from Sheeda. First a deception and then Nine, sufficient six. power to force the error. Exposed part of the court. Ten, six. They do and have always had great court craft, the Japanese pair. Don't win nine major titles without having a thorough tactical understanding. Six at the mid-game break. In them. That's Yama and Shida playing better today already than they did in the semi 24 hours ago. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Coach, sit on your chair. Coach. Can I push it, please? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Eleven six. Nami, Nami, Nami. Play. Worth pointing out that there's only been one previous meeting, and actually the uh, Koreans won that. It was last October in the semi final of the uh, Denmark Open. So I think they may feel they've got uh, a little bit of unfinished business. So it's over. Against these Seven, two. Seven, level. Let Nami Kuka Nine, 
Net court favoured the Koreans. Eight, So three quick straight points for Beck and Lee. Nine level. After the interval, put them right back in with a shot at taking this opening game. So a good call from Shida. So it's over. And a good leave. Twelve nine. Screamed down to the partner. He took her advice, and it was good advice. Just so came at that over. awkward height, didn't it? Ten, twelve. The shoulder height, quite no best way to deal with it. And another error. Eleven, twelve. Service over, 13 level. Good positive play from uh, Chihado Shida. Well, they know they're going to be in for a fight against these uh, very capable Koreans. Still kept it alive, but not for long. Lee cuts it off at the net. So it's over. 12, 13. Service over, 14, 12. Well, a little fortunate there, so it's over. to say the 13, least. 13, 14.
play. No. Well, they threw everything at them, and in the end, just got a bit frustrated, I think. The a wild shot from Matsuyama. 14 off. Well, I had two chances to kill that, and Lee took the second of them. And uh, they just nudged 14. in front in this very tight opening game. Of it's over. 15 off. Service over, 16 on. Great reach that from Shida. That was in. Seventeen, sixteen. That was a serious error of judgment. At a very, very pivotal moment Quick. in this opening game. Quick. They do like to slow it down, the Japanese, every possible opportunity. Saw that yesterday in the semi-final there. Up to it again now. But they uh, need to concentrate here. The Koreans giving them a, a very stern test. Lovely piece of deception from Matsuyama. Over. 17 off.
Zoe Sova. Well, one step forward and one back 18, at the moment for the uh, top seeds. Perfectly placed into the corner, and it remains nip and tuck. Zoe Sova, 18 all. So positive from Beck, and they're a couple of points away from taking Seven this opening over. game. 19 18. Do you think that the Koreans so far have shown a little more attacking at intent than the Japanese pair? So two game points for Beck and Lee to take the opener. 20, game point 18. It's been a long game, 25 minutes so far. A lot of that because of, well, we have had some long rallies. Japanese have delayed things a bit as well, but they're on the cusp here of losing this opening game. Just waiting for their opportunity, weren't they? And it duly arrived. So we saw 1920. So one game point saved. One more to go from Matsuyama and Shida's point of view. Play. Well, she lost the balance there, did Shida, and it proved costly. 21-19, the Koreans deservedly now. take the opening game, and the number one 21, seeds 19. in a bit of trouble here in this final.
20 seconds. 20 seconds. Second game, love all, play. So the top seeds playing catch up here. Good reach, Fire! but it came back with uh, serious interest from Sheeta. Really Some did. Sober. One all. Big. Back on board. Nami. Late decision to play that, but managed to get it at least towards the back line. Oh, well, what a chance. No, she should have made it too. So it's over. Two, one. Thank you. Thank you. So it's over. Well, that was careless. So Points oh. uh, so hard to come by. Such a competitive match. Service errors need to be cut out. Three, two. That was hit with real venom. Real venom. Four, two. Hey. Hey. 
just think they need to make some kind of a statement in the early stages of this first game. So it's over. Three, four. Miss Kew again from uh, Matsuyama. Oh. Very unlike her. No question they're being put under pressure, though, by Beck and Lee. Goal reached, and again. Well, they're making them win the point almost uh, two or three times over, but on that occasion, Japanese pair were up to it. So it's over, five, four. Well, once again, they uh, throw away the initiative they worked so hard for with the uh, service fault. Just get the feeling these errors might catch up with them. We'll see. Well, they outlast them there, just with patience Six, and five. solid blocks, Beck and Lee. Just as tight and just as tense as the first game so far. That was a cute angle, but it was uh, well read by Lee. Oh, that's lovely. That's lovely.
Service over. Set off. Well, no quarter asked or given. Play left. Quick, quick. As soon as Beck uh, Eight, saw seven. exactly where Matsuyama was going to serve, it was um, pretty much a formality. Well, it's almost errors and, and winners in equal measure, both sides of the net at the moment. Rather well, telegraphed that, and he got exactly what it deserved from Beckona. Well, you saw the commitment from the Koreans diving around. The Japanese again make the error, and they're three points down at the mid-game break.
finally had too much power. I think the Japanese know they need to up their game. And they were the aggressors in that Nine, point, no left. question. about I think their game and exactly what they're doing now not before time hey. good leave and they're back on terms and have the momentum now Eleven off. Well, that was going out, no question. Well, it's a bit of a wild one. The, the match has changed a little bit, just in the sense that the Japanese seem to be almost the permanent aggressors so now. OK, Grand they made the error at the end of that rally, but for the most part, the Koreans are stoutly resisting rather than being particularly proactive themselves. Oh, that's nice. Lee did so well. She spotted that Beck had really nailed that. And she got in close to the net. And all she could do was just pop it up for her, really. That's wide. 14 left. going to be wide as well. 
And all of a sudden, the Koreans have a bit of daylight here. Well, that could, could be a semi-lifeline. We'll see. wonder I still wonder if that service fall Maybe. might just given the Japanese a, a foothold so just starting to let their uh, heads drop a little bit oh but that's a that's a poor shot they just have been too many errors still a chance of getting out of it but they look very rugged and very determined, the, this Korean pair. But as long as there's uh, life, there's hope. 14, 17. Long by a distance. Seven over. Eighteen fourteen. Oh, how did she do that? It was almost self defense, but it works. And they're two 19, points away. 
Well, they're going to make the Koreans win it, that's for sure. Half point, 14. But here are six chances for Beck and Lee to take this title. After what? Nearly an hour on court. As I say, they're not going to hand it to them. So, one match point saved, or championship point, I should say. Five more to go. That's it. Yeah. That will do it. 21-15. And that's a really big win for Beck Harnar and Lee Sohee. Too good for the top seeds and world number two pair today. They're going to be a real force in women's doubles, that's for sure. This was the moment. Their first title as a pair, and they've taken down a really big scout to get it. Fifty-six minutes on court to do the damage. And they'll be lifting the trophy shortly. 21-19, 21-15. A thoroughly deserved success for Beck Hana and Lee So He. And I think it'll mean a lot more to them when they look back that their first title was against such a decorated pair. No easy ride here at all. I think they'll have a lot to reflect on uh, after this final, the two Japanese. They were way below their best yesterday and never really hit the heights today, truth to tell. Presentation will be coming up shortly. Run up from 
Japan. Nami Matsuyama on Shiao Shida. Well, they'll go to Birmingham next week, try and defend their uh, All England title. Would have much preferred to do it with a trophy amongst the uh, hand luggage. But nonetheless, it's uh, another runner-up prize. One of the easier journeys between tournaments for these players. Just about an hour in the air. Mulheim to Birmingham. moment their first title together they've won titles with others but this will feel like a bit of a groundbreaker for both I fancy lost him a time masters finally in January and also in the Indonesian Open final this year but uh, they've put things right today here in Mulheim Winners check for $16,590 US and 7,000 uh, ranking points as well, which never go amiss. So we'll move on shortly to our fourth final of the day. It's a men's doubles. Quet and Kim against Kang and Sio. It's an all Korean affair. Comes up after these highlights of what we've just enjoyed. What a warm welcome back. Photo that QR code, badminton for you. And you can download it. And it's basically your passport to a whole host of fun and information, live scores, player profiles. You can 